Let's get the camera out and give it a bit of a wiggle. So yeah, that is it now. <laughs> Hello and welcome everybody. My name's John Dexter. Um, I just want to uh, do a quick little video on uh, telling you why I basically don't use manual mode um, to take my ICM images. Um, now, a lot of people, a lot of photographers will tell you that uh, manual mode is the only way to go and you know anything else is sort of amateurish uh, now I don't agree with this in whole um, I'm not saying that manual mode hasn't got its um, benefits when you're taking um, landscape or um, portrait or sports photography um, because you need control over the aperture for your depth of field. You need control over your shutter speed to freeze whatever you're taking or to give you a longer shutter speed for something like waterfalls or things like this. Or with portrait, you need um, both. You need your aperture for your depth of field and you need shutter speed to sort of stop any movement of the um, person you're um, taking. So yeah, you know, I'm not saying that manual mode uh, is not essential in some photography, but I am talking ICM, Intentional Camera Movement. Now, the first thing is depth of field. We are not concerned at all about depth of field um, because all ICM is sort of blurred images anyway so depth of field is totally irrelevant. The only thing we are concerned about is shutter speed to give you the time to move the camera uh, to actually capture that, that image. Um, so aperture priority I use mainly two reasons uh, one because um, a lot of my lenses are old um, manual lenses so I have to adjust the aperture on the lens so the camera can't decide what the aperture is for me uh, and I just use the aperture priority um, to get the shutter speed I need um, and if I am clipping any highlights or shadows, I just dial in a little bit of exposure compensation. Now, what advantage would I have doing it completely manually? Um, I've got aperture, which as I say, I'm not bothered what it is because we're not concerned with depth of field. Shutter speed is the only thing I'm concerned about, so yes, we could use that. But if I use manual, I've got to concentrate on the aperture and the shutter speed, all to control the exposure. Uh, so if I find my exposure is wrong, I've either got to adjust the um, aperture or the shutter speed or even the, the ISO to get the right shutter speed. Whereas with aperture priority, um, I just use that to give me my shutter speed and the camera decides um, for me the uh, actual exposure. Now I'm not saying you shouldn't keep an eye on the exposure because you should because with ICM it's very easy to click the highlights because you're moving the camera and probably picking up some bright sky. But all I do is dial in a little bit of uh, exposure compensation. Um, so 
What I'm trying to say is there's nothing wrong with shooting in manual mode, but if you can let the camera do some work for you, it gives you more time to concentrate on your composition and creating the image that you're after. And I'm all up for, for that. And letting the camera decide uh, certain things like exposure um, is not detrimental to the actual final image. So shooting manual is okay but it's a lot more work and it's a lot more to concentrate and uh, um, get right um, now you may sort of say well why if the only thing you're interested in is shutter speed why don't you use shutter speed and that would be absolutely fine it's exactly the same thing except approaching it from a different angle so Aperture priority, I use the aperture to adjust the shutter speed. If I was using shutter speed, um, I dial in the shutter speed I need, and then the camera decides what aperture it is. But as I said before, I use manual lenses, so aperture priority is definitely better for me. Um, I know some people think that um, if you use anything other than manual um, there seems to be a sort of well you're not a real photographer unless you use manual um, I think that's pretty unfair um, especially with ICM um, but as I say if, if that's the way you like shooting and that's what you used to that's not a, that's absolutely fine you know it's all good um, so yeah I just thought I would um, sort of clear this up to hopefully help you um, and uh, uh, sort of let you decide what you want to do um, oh the, yeah the other thing is I just um, was um, very honoured to be asked by the Amateur Photographer magazine um, to do an article uh, on my ICM workflow. Um, that's the first page, it's a four page spread. Um, there we go. So yeah, a little bit of a plug for me. <laughs> yeah, so as I say, I was greatly honoured um, to be asked. Um, I was very surprised that they considered I was good enough, <laughs> but there you go. Um, so yeah, if you want that, it's on the shelves now, um, uh, only for a week though, I think. Um, so yeah, that, that's it. I hope this has sort of been a little bit helpful to you. Um, and I hope it sort of can set you in the right direction. Uh, so don't be sort of bulldozed into thinking that you've got to use manual mode. Um, especially for ICM because to my way of thinking that's not the case so yeah um, until next time um, after this little rant <laughs> this is John Dexter saying stay well bye for now <laughs>